What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto Ranked Double Ladder with this scrappy Surf Fetch team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. All the likes, all the views, and everybody who has subscribed to the channel goes a long way. Rocking out on this team, we got Prima Reno rocking out in that front spot. With that, Assault Vest and Liquid Voice has Hyper Voice, Moon Blast for Stab, Hydro Cannon, big Water Stab damage and energy ball for a nice little coverage move. Then we got this wonderful mole breaker, mole breaker exit drill that actually works well during a lot of situations. It has high horsepower, iron head, rock slide, and protect. Also holding that focus edge so it doesn't get one tapped up. Then we got big boy life orb mimic you over here with phantom force, player up, shadow sneak, and protect all big stab damage moves and then one first priority move. Then we got Gudra, nice little coverage Gudra. Everyone knows this thing's an absolute monster. Has that citrus berry and sap zipper with dragon pulse for stab. T-Bolt, Flamethrower, and Mudshot, all for coverage moves. We also got Corvo Knight, nice little defensive bulky Pokemon with Brave Bird, Iron Head, Body Press, and Taunt. So no Trick Rooms happening on our side. We're just going to taunt up Pokemon and cancel that out from there. And then in the final spot, we have the showcase Pokemon of this team. We got Scrappy Surfetch right here. Scrappy is his ability, so fighting moves and normal moves that he uses can actually hit ghost types such as Mimikyu and all that. So we can go... Straight for close combat, right into a Mimikyu if we really want to. So that is going to be awesome. And he's also holding the leak to actually boost his critical hit ratio. He has close combat for stab, leaf blade for coverage, brave bird for coverage, and detect as a little protect move. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? You guys already know deal. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me know in the comment section down below. Hey guys, do with it. But guys, let's get going. Let's get some wins with this team. First battle on its way, and this guy has a Gengar. I can go in a Surf Fetch and absolutely wreck on it with a fighting move. That could be pretty cool. He will not be expecting that. I actually might do that, but let's see who else he has. He has Primarina, Whimsicott for Tailwind. Ooh, I might want to actually go a Quiver Knight front spot because I want to taunt that. Yeah, so that's definitely an option, so we might have to taunt that. I definitely want to bring Surf Fetch in, but I don't know if I want to bring him in the front spot. He has Ndidi, Gengar. I think he's going to be leading Gengar. I really do think he's going to be leading Gengar. I think we want to bring uh, Mimikyu in the back. Mm-hmm. Maybe extra on the front? I mean, extra could be good. Or we could go Assault Fest Primarina. Actually, yeah, Assault Fest Primarina actually sounds pretty good. Let's go with it. Let's go Assault Fest Primarina. Have Mimi Poo and Surfetch rocking out in that back end. Two big old physical attackers. Let's get it. Let's get it. So we got uh, Primarina as their special attacker, and then we got two big special attackers in the back end. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We've been streaming so, so much ever since quarantine, and you guys know every single Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be trying to do an A, or we are going to be trying to do a viewer tournament for you guys, but I don't know if we're going to get to it this Sunday. Maybe, maybe not, because it's Memorial Day weekend. I might be out and about. Might be out and about, but guys, definitely go down in the link in the description below. Hit that follow button. Turn on notifications. There might be a tournament it might be not. I'll let you guys know as it gets a little bit closer, even though it's already kind of close. But he does lead the Gengar, like I thought. He goes Gengar. There's no need to taunt. Actually, we could taunt the Gengar. We really wanted to. Hmm. We taunt the Gengar. We taunt it. Or do I just uh, go into an Iron Head? Because this thing might be going for like a Hypnosis, something along those lines. I really don't know. And if that thing goes for a follow me, then we're kind of like, we're sitting like, eh. We're sitting at an eh position. But I'm just going to drop a Hyper Voice. Make it water with the liquid voice and drop it into a uh, water move. Double hitting water move. He's got a Dynamax. Oh, is this G-Max Gengar? This, is this boy G-Max Gengar? You hardly see these things, but they're pretty dope. They're pretty dope. Let's see it. It is. It is. Ready it comes from the ground. Look at that boy with his big tongue. Look at him. <laughs> Things an absolute beast, but I still think Mega Gengar looks 10 times cooler than G-Max Gengar. That's a fact. That's a fact. The Mega Evolutions are so cool. Vika comes out from the Indidi over on my Prima Arena. Hey, yo, leave me alone. Got a lightning. Ooh. Ooh wee. Oh, over on my Corvo. My Corvo, I, I thought it was going on my Pre. I thought it was going on my Prima Arena. And he gets a crit, dude. What you mean? What you mean this thing gets a crit turn one? Bruh. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. I understand. I understand. Uh, do I go Mimi Mimi Poo? We go Mimi Mimi Poo. Prima Arena flinches. I think Mimikyu is the call here. Dynamax Mimikyu? Jeez, you really got a crit on that Max Lightning. Like, bro, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Mimi, Mimi. Get the Mimsters. I don't understand how this thing... Wait. What was this thing's ability? Was it Psychic Surge? It is not Psychic Surge. Okay, because I was going to say, how the heck does this thing fake out if it's usually rolling Psychic Surges? But we're going to Dynamax. We're going to go into a Max Phantasm right here. And we're going after that Gengar. Ooh, this thing has no effect. I can't risk to follow me. Mmm. Good job of Phantom Force. I could, but it doesn't... Like, that's the thing. It's such a tough call, because if I go Dynamax in here... 
I'm still gonna Dynamax. I still, I'm still gonna Dynamax and go for a Max Starfall over on the Indeedee. Then I think I just uh, do a Hydro Cannon here. Yeah, I'm gonna double up into the CD Indeedee. I gotta take it out here. I have to take it out because I can definitely take off a shot from the uh, from the Gengar. I can definitely take a shot from it because I have the disguise. But dude, that's so tough. That's so tough that he can just roll into a file of me and do that. So I like I cannot risk it going into a max band of him just following me and wasting my time. Just can't do it. I just can't do it. And I can't hit that Gengar with a max starfall. It's not very effective. What you mean? Let's see what we got. Follow me coming out here. No, we could have done it. Yo, we could have done it. We could have done it. Pre goes down. Or no, assault vest keeps it alive. You love to see it. I am so surprised that that thing uh, actually uh did not go for a follow me. Wow, what a play! What a play! Starfall comes out here. Boop. Do some nice big old damage there. Can a hyper voice take out? I don't think it is, but I'm still gonna be, be able to do some nice damage here. Hopefully the pre-marine out speeds out of Indeedy. Uh, Indeedy, let's see what happens here. Come on, do it. Cause we still have our disguise. Don't you dare take off our disguise, bro. Yo, leave me alone. Leave me alone, yeah. Okay, so he hasn't used G Max Terror yet. Which is pretty nice. And the Hyper Voice is still going to pop off here. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to go for Hydro Cannon. Take it out. Take it out. Get it. Take it out. Hydro Cannon. Boop. Get out of here. Yes. All right. So this thing's out of here. We know Gengar goes first. Which is rather scary. We do know that Gengar goes first. So I think I go for a Max Guard here. And then have another turn. And then try to dump on the Gengar next one. That might be a play. I still have my boy in the back end. I still have Surf Fetch in the back end. He goes Whimsicott. So, ooh. This one's tough. This one's tough. Uh, this one is real tough. Definitely got a guard. Wait, what? Oh, Primarina can't go after a Hydro Cannon? What you mean? I would never went to a Hydro Cannon. I totally forgot. Bruh. Bruh. We're gonna guard here. And then this dude's going to go into a, what's it called? Oh, he's going into a Moon Blast. No Tailwind. Okay, so we get to block off this move, which is pretty nice. So no Tailwind for him. If I can get off this Dynamax move, take out the, uh, the Gengar here, we'll be chilling. We will be chilling, because... G-Max Gengar's gone. We're going to get out my boy, Sir Fetch, right here. High crit ratio. It's Brave Bird. We can definitely dump on that one. It's got one turn if it's not Sash. Or do I double into the... Uh, no, because if we hit the Gengar, the Gengar's dead. We know that for a fact. If we hit the Gengar, the Gengar is dead. Look at him dance. Yo, look at his little wobble. He's like bouncing back and forth. That's honestly pretty funny. But we're definitely going to go into a Max Phantasm. And then I think we just hop into a Brave Bird here. Because if I can pick up the double kill, we'll be sitting pretty. We will be sitting pretty. I wonder what that guard's going for, to be honest. It might be rocking out with Hypnosis. I can definitely see go, or, or hidden, go Tailwind into maybe Hypnosis, or Tailwind into just a big Shadow Ball. Or now we go straight for Moon Blast. Can we eat up a Moon Blast? We can eat up a Moon Blast. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Shadow Ball comes out here. We should be able to eat that up as well. We do. Okay. 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 Potential double kill here. That could be huge. I do have Shadow Sneak as well. So, and we're out after this. So, if, if that Wimscott is Sash, we're chilling. If that Wimscott is Sash, we can pop off into a Shadow Sneak and take it out next turn. Let's see what happens. If we drop that thing's defense, and come on, show me it's not Sash, but I wonder what other item it is. Maybe Beery Berry, something along those lines. We'll see what happens. Baby Bird pops off. Yeet. Get him. Send it. Boop. Take him out, please. It is Sash. Okay, so we have to waste a Shadow Sneak on that thing. We do have to waste a Shadow Sneak on it. And Surfetch goes down to two. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This one close. This one's a real, real close, yo, with my Surfetch sword. And he goes down the Prima Arena, which I know we 100% outspeed. Well, I know my Surfetch outspeeds it, right? My Surfetch should be able to outspeed that Prima Arena. So Shadow Sneak should be able to take out that, uh, what was he caught? Life Orb damage might take us out. But then Close Combat's gonna have to. Mm, no, we have Leaf Blade. We have Leaf Blade. Coverage Leaf Blade could potentially take this thing out with a leak for a high crit shot. This thing goes. Bro, bro, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Don't you tell me that happens. Prankster goes, bro, goes before Shadow Sneak. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 please. Miss me. Miss me with that. Miss me with that hyper voice. Miss me with it. Miss me with it. Bro, get out of my face. Get out of my face. I didn't know that that would go before my Shadow Sneak. That's whack. That is whack. But, yo, GG to that guy. I should have known a little bit better, but... Oh, and one really, really close match there. Really, really close match. If our Shadow Sneak would have popped off, we probably would have one-tapped that and won that game. I'm a little scared here, guys. He has big old Diggersby right here. 
And you guys already know, this thing hits like an absolute truck. He has the Snorlax, that might be a Belly Jump Snorlax too, with the Dust Cop for Trick Room, Mimikyu, and DD to kind of protect around, and Prima Arena. So we gotta find our way around that Diggersby. That is gonna be a little scary boy right there. Um, I think I lead Corvo. Do I lead Corvo to taunt any Trick Room users or any uh, Belly Jump users? I think that's a smart play to go into. Uh, I think we definitely bring Surf Edge, but I don't think I lead Surf Edge. I really do not think I lead the Surf Edge. I think I save him for the back end. I think Extra Drill is a safe lead here. Yeah, let's get X-Key. x, -key. x drill yeah. Extra Drill, we're definitely going Surf Edge. And then I think we bring Gudra. Or do I bring Mimi? Hmm. Maybe take out Extra Drill. Lead the Gudra. I could lead the Gudra. But no, we're not going to lead the Gudra. I think we actually potentially lead the Surf Edge. And we'll go from there. Try to get some easy crits on him. Bring Gudra and uh, Mimikyu to potentially Dynamax in that back end. No, I want to lead the Surf Edge. Let's get Surf Edge up in here. Surf Edge, yes sir. Let's get it. And then go here. Let's run it. Let's run it. Because I, I was going to go extra drill, but I was like, dude, I need a special attacker up in here. So I was just like, let's go Gudra with that Citrus Berry. And it has Sap Sipper as well, but he doesn't have like any grass Pokemon. So we're chilling, we're chilling. Sap Sipper's not really going to come in too, too much. But my, I'm just so worried about either the Belly Drum happening or letting that Diggers be set up and roll out strong. Because I know that thing probably has Sword Stance. Even if it doesn't, it probably hits like a truck anyway. Let's see who he leads. He has Mimi Mims and Indeedy Doo. Indeedy Doo. Okay. That's fine. I could go into close combat on the Mimikyu if I really want to. I am scrappy. I am a scrappy ability. Uh, I think I might protect Surf Edge turn one. And take off the Disguise. This thing pops Psychic Seeds. Eh, a little scary. A little scary. He might actually Dynamax here, which is... Oof. A little tough. Iron Head's definitely going to pop out here. I'm trying to make this thing flinch. And I think I Detect here. Do I Detect? Yeah. We're going to Detect here. Well, just do a little bit of block action, because I can maybe see a follow me, maybe Dynamax and Mimikyu. Let's see, yep, Dynamax and Mimikyu comes out here. Oof, ah, and a follow me is probably going to pop out as well. So, he's probably going to go, probably not into my Mimikyu, to be honest. Oh, no, wait. Huh? What is this? <laughs> what is this? What is this? A Dynamax and Didi. Yo, get out of my face and we're detecting this thing because it's probably going after it to be honest. Then DD's probably going after it. Player of comes out. Block, baby. Eat me, yo. This thing's going for a flare. Oh my. Yo, leave me alone. Can you eat this up, Corvo? Corvo does eat up pretty well. Jeez, man. I wish this Corvo had Tailwind, though. I could have got a Tailwind set up easily here. Might have to swap out into my, uh, no, not into my Gudra. Why did I say into my Gudra? <laughs> But this guy is just popping down here. He's probably going to take me out here. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Play rough would take me out one shot. No problem. I'm going to go here. I might have to swap into my own Mimikyu. I wish I could protect this turn. Maybe we just have to let Surfetch go down here. Hmm. Hmm. This will just drop a close combat into this Indeedee. Oh my lord. What is going on here? Play Rough comes out. He's gonna yoink on me and take me out one shot. No, oh, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold up. Hold up. Let's go. Let's go, Sir Fetch. Eating that one up. We're looking pretty good here. He's his Dynamax is almost over. Close combat comes through. Show me a crit. No crit. Neek doing nothing for us. And our stats are gonna drop. So this thing's kinda like in the dump here. It's on one anyway. Um, I could bring out Mimikyu, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to Dynamax and take out his own Mimikyu. Just so it doesn't pose a too big of a threat to me. We think this thing's rocking Starfall. I mean, it could be. But I'm cool. I'm cool with it. Let's get that Dynamax rolling. And roll into a Phantasm. And say bye-bye to Mimikyu. And then, uh... Let's just go into another close combat here. Because that'll be our big, our biggest damage. It'll be that close combat as it's stab. It, its base power is high up. And I don't care if my stats drop. We're already at, like, 9 HP. But we're chilling with it. We fine. Let's get it. That last match was actually very, very close. Very, very close. I, like, now that I'm thinking about it, like, I don't totally wish that Shadow Sneak would outspeed, which I think it should. It's a first turn priority move, but Prankster does give Whimscott first turn priority, so I guess it acted as, like, a speed tie, and then, uh, it went, I don't even know. It just acted as, like, a tie, and then maybe he won the, the round. I'm not too sure, but we do dump on, uh, Mimikyu one shot easily. See you later, and we get a nice little defense drop. So if we can actually get off this, uh, this close combat, this would, this could be uh, some nice damage here. Let's see. He goes for a flare. Show me on my uh, Mimikyu. Yes. 
Yes, the skies pops. His Dynamax turns are over. My boy's still alive. My boy, Surfetch, is still alive. He can do some big damage here. Hoping to get that crit with that leak and that critical ratio boosted. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Close combat. Ooh, give me that crit. That's a crit, baby. Yo, let's go. You did not want that. Or was that just because of the defense drop? What was it? It was just because of the defense drop. Jeez, this thing's hitting like a truck. This thing is hitting like a truck. I know we outspeed all day. Indeed, he can go down here. Not too worried about it. I'm probably worried about more so the next Pokemon that comes out here. Let's see who it is. Comes out Primarina. Primarina. Do we think Primarina is going for a nice little protect here? I think it's more so going for like a Hyper Voice. Something along those lines. Hmm. Definitely go for another Phantasm. Phantasm. I mean, this can kill for a Follow Me, so I'm just going to drop a Starfall. That's still Stab. If that thing goes for a Follow Me, I'm chilling with it. Then I'll go for a Leaf Blade on it. It's got to be on for a Liquid Hyper Voice. A Liquid Voice, Hyper Voice, whatever you want to call it. Follow me, obviously. Good thing I changed last second. I was, I was just like, I'm going for a Phantasm. But I'm not. I'm going to take out this thing with a Starfall. And this thing's probably going to go for that Hyper Voice and be able to take out my, uh, my what's it called? My Scrappy too. Not my Scrafty. <laughs> my Scrappy Surf Edge. With the big sword. Leave him alone. But, yo, he did some big damage on that Indeedee. Dude, Dynamax and Indeedee like crazy. Like, that threw me off so bad. Like, yeah, Mimikyu out on the field with Life Orb. I'm just like, bro, what is going on? Clean pops out. My Mimikyu eats up fine. And then we can bring out our final mom, which is this lovely Gudra. And I gotta kind of watch out for this. I gotta watch out for this. This thing has Dazzling Gleam. I think we can eat up one shot from Dazzling Gleam. Uh, what's his next mod? Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, Diggers B. Big dog right here. I gotta take him out for sure. Like, no, these things are both big threats to me. Phantasm's got a pop here. Has no effect over there, so I'm gonna drop it on you. And I think I just go drag Dragon Pulse over onto this thing. He has no Dynamax. I wonder what it has his speed factor. I think my Mimikyu should have outspeed and potentially take out this Primarina, but hopefully this Primarina doesn't go for a Protect. Hoping it's more so going for like a Dazzling Gleam and maybe we can one tap up on it. Let's see, it does not go for the protect. Can we kill it? Can we take it out? Take it out. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, so Diggersby. What is Diggersby doing? We get the defense drop on that thing. So if I get a Shadow Sneak off on it, that could be huge. That could be huge. So hopefully it doesn't take out my Mimikyu. I really do wonder what this Diggersby going for. A Fire Punch. Oh, we should be able to eat that up all day. Let's get it. Let's get it. We get to eat. So Shadow Sneak can definitely pop out here. And we should be able to have this one wrapped up nice and gently in a nice little Christmas box. I mean, I don't know. That thing ate it pretty hard. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. But I know my Mimikyu outspeeds. Hold the phone. My Mimikyu outspeeds. So I just go for a Phantom Force? Or do I go for a player? Probably Play Rough. Right? Play Rough will do so much more damage as it's uh, based on attack, right? Right? The user plays rough with the target and attacks it. No, no, no. It does not. But it may lower its attack stat. Um, still 90 base damage. I mean, we have to go for it. We can't even go for a Shadow Sneak. It doesn't affect him. And I think I should go for another Dragon Balls. Hmm. It's stab. It is stab. I mean, we're in a drought. No, we're not. Are we? Yeah, we are in a drought. So, might as well go for the, the flamethrower. Play rough comes out. Yo, get him. Big old damage. Yeah, dude. That's just dumped on it. But just like that, yo. So easy. Let's get it. <laughs> one and one with this team. Played very, very well that match. Very, very well. I'm surprised he Dynamax and DD, but either way, we cleaned it up and actually won that match. Going for a winning record here, we are 1-1, one 1-win, one, one, win, one loss. This guy has Incineroar Squad. Ooh, and Sandstorm. That's a little, that's a little scary. That's, that's a little scary right there. Um, I think Corviknight's got to be another lead here. I think it's a great lead considering it has that mirror armor. And it can actually just bounce back and intimidate if he is going into that. Um, hmm, the Sandstorm is just scary. The Sandstorm is scary. I could lead Extra Drill as well in this. I am sashed up. I can eat up some Sandstorm. I can be chilling with that. So definitely Extra Drill. I think Corviknight can come in here as well. We might just go all physical attackers here. We might just go bang and bang. We might just go all out with this. I mean, actually, no. Free Marina's got to come in. So who's leaving? Who is leaving? I want to keep the Surf Edge, but then I don't want to keep the Surf Edge. We're going to go Free Marina here. Mimikyu just rocks out so much better than the, uh, the Surf Edge. Mimikyu is just, you guys already know, Mimikyu is a top tier little mon. Top tier little mon. Yeah, Free Marina does some work here, especially against the Exedrill. The uh, Incineroar, the T-Tar, and the Dragapult as well. Like, it's just huge damage. And it's all stab. It's all stab with the Water and the Fairy. Just very good typing up for uh, this matchup. He's going to go Poltsky and Togekiss. Maybe I should have let... Uh... No, I shouldn't have. Because he would just went for following. We got Corviknight into Extra Drill. So not bad lead here. Not bad lead at all. I can definitely see him uh, potentially Dynamaxing. But I can just go into Double Iron Head. Or something along those lines. Old Breaker comes out. 
Yeah, we're just gonna rock out with Iron Head here. Or I could go with a uh, Rock Slide. Rock Slizzle. Hmm. Hmm. Just in case this thing's about Beery Buried, we can kind of get this thing out the way, the Toad Kiss. Not worry about it. So, yeah, I'm gonna double up into it. It's probably gonna use Follow Me anyway. But that's fine. I actually hope it does use Follow Me. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, but I think uh, Dynamax Dragapult's gonna come out here, and he's gonna go for a warm one over on my, uh, on one of these mons, maybe my extra drill to drop its, uh, attack, and then potentially bring it down to the sash, and then we just roll out from there, we roll out from there. It just stinks, it just stinks that the Dragapult is going to be a little speedy mon. He's gonna withdraw the Tokus, nice little withdrawal here, who's gonna roll into it? His own extra drill? Oh, Incineroar comes out here. Incineroar! And the Mirror Armor is gonna pop here. What you want, fool? We're bouncing it back on you. He just wants that attack drop. I wish this bounced to uh, him and the Dragon Ball. That could be huge. And no Dynamax comes out. T-Bolt's going to pop here. We're going to be able to eat this up just fine. Just dandy. And we're going to get off a double Iron Hand. Potentially take this thing out. And we see this thing has its life orb as well. Iron Hand. Come on, take this thing out. Give it work. It's not going to take it out. We already knew that. <laughs> it's not very effective. Smart dude. Smart play by him. Rolled out perfectly with that. Uh, but I can definitely a uh, high horsepower. And one tap up on this, I'm thinking. Hmm. And just roll into a Brave Bird. If we can get this off, we get it off. But I think he's just going to T-Bolt and take me out here. And then try to roll into a Flare Blitz. But I think we can take out the Incineroar, no problem. Let's just... Dude, he's going to swap back. Oh, my lord. He's going to swap back. Don't do it. Don't do it. I should have thought more. He's going to swap back into that Togekiss. Bro, this dude's doing me dirty. This dude's doing me dirty. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. I already know it. Oh, he goes for a fake out. Okay, that's fine. That is fine by me. Goes for a Thunderbolt. He's going to take out Corvo Corvo. Oh, now, now, now I'm not playing around. Now I'm not playing around. I see this thing is special attacking, so Assault Fest is going to be pretty nice here. We're getting out this thing. I'm going to Dynamax this thing. I'm Dynamaxing up. And then this thing could go for another T-Bolt if it wants to. I'm a Dynamax, and I'm going to take it out. Uh, I'm probably just going to drop a Rock Slide. And we coming after you. We coming after you, baby. Yeah, let's get it. Come on, what you want? What do you want? He's not Dynamaxing. He's not Dynamaxing. He's going for a T-Bolt on its own. We're a Soul Vessel. We're going to be able to eat it up fairly well. And then we can say bye-bye to Dragapult. Well, it's just Dragapult from one like, ally switch, but I highly doubt it. We're dropping Rocks anyway to do some damage on that Incineroar. And I'm not too worried about the extra anymore. And I know he doesn't have Sandstorm team in the back. Maybe he might just have an extra in the back. We can see. Dragon Ball goes for Protect. I'm hoping we can still actually dump on this thing through the Protect. We might be able to. We might be able to. And maybe get a flinch on this thing. Let's see what happens here. Bruh. Bruh. Incineroar really avoids that attack. Get out of my face. Come on. Take this thing out. Do some big old damage. Nope. No. Nope. Uh, nope. And nope. Nope, 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 nope. And this thing's gonna go for a nice little flutter to take me out. Considering I missed. I oh, know he's parting shots. He parting shots out of here. Want a little play and come back for another intimidate onto my Mimi Q when my Mimi Poo gets out here. Which is totally fine, but I can't believe I missed a rock slide, man. I can't believe I missed that rock slide. I'm mad about it. I'm gonna go back into Tokus, potential follow me. Uh, I think I'm just gonna throw a geyser. Right. Ready, right, right. I mean, if you go for a follow me, I'm definitely dropping this rock slide. And I'm gonna go for this geyser. I'm gonna set the rain. Nah, I'm gonna set the rain. Yeah, 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 yeah. This thing might drop into a Phantom Force. Actually, it probably doesn't have its special attacking. Ah, man, dude, this guy's just playing good with the swap in, swap out. Just gotta keep teeing off here. He still has his Dynamax as well. I think he's saving it for his back end mon. Nobody's gonna go with Dynamax and Pult. Maybe he might Dynamax the Tokus? We will see. Do the swap back in here. I went for the rock side. I did go for the rock side. In case he does swap in, but I think follow me's coming in. Oh, he's gonna go. He's gonna swap that. Let's swap into Incineroar. Swapping into Incineroar, yo. He's gonna be so scared when I throw out this geyser here. Unless he goes for a follow me. Let's see. He does go for follow me. Okay. That's fine by me. We get to drop this rock slide on both of these mons. Get some nice damage, but still, we're minus. We're minus two. We're minus two. How much damage can we really do? damage <laughs> do i swap i could swap next turn guys it comes out here sets the rain how much damage are we going to do here we're minus one as well oh my lord oh my lord it's not looking good it's not looking good man not looking good 
Uh, get the rain rolling. I'm gonna swap drill. I'm gonna swap drill to get my stats back here. I'm mean, gonna definitely guys are over here. I definitely guys are over onto this instant I'm not dealing with this thing. Probably gonna go for another follow me and a party shot. Which is fine. Now I have my extra back up to full stats. And we get to swap over with the mini mini poo. Tenor goes for a fake out. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, baby. We're playing fine. Minus two now on the pre marina. Which I might have to swap the pre marina after these Dynamax turns and get her back out here later because she's just so viable. This should still be able to take out this incident over here. Say bye bye to it, right? Yeah, Incineroar goes down. That is lovely. That is lovely. Okay, we're gonna have to swap pre marina next turn. Get this thing up in here. Or get just get all the stats off of us. Just get the stats out of here off of us. He still has Dynamax and he's gonna bring out Poltsky here, which I can just Shadow Sneak and take this thing out, no problem. And I still have my disguise, which is huge. I still have my disguise. So Shadow Sneak comes out here, takes out the Polt. Um Yeah. Shadow Sneak should be able to come out here, take out the Polt, and now it's a great time to actually get my extra drill back out here. I don't think he's gonna Dynamax either of these guys. <clears throat> I really do not think he is. I mean he might actually. We'll see after we swap. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good match right here. It's a real good match. Lots of swaps. Let's see what happens here. You gonna Dynamax? Mold Breaker pops. We break the mold. No Dynamax. Oh, but he does go for the protect. I knew maybe I should have went for that Phantom Force. It could have been big. This thing's gonna go for Shadow Sneak, and this thing's probably gonna pop a Gleam. Take off my disguise. Yep. Gleam pops out here. My extra will eat up just dandy. And my Mimikyu takes no damage from it because of the disguise. And we have to pop off into another Shadow Sneak here. We might actually uh, save that thing. Then I go into an Iron Head. My stats are back to normal. I gotta go for another Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak will kill. I mean, he might go for a follow me here. Go to shot Phantom Force. I'm gonna drop Phantom Force. Cause if he goes for a follow me, say he goes for a follow me, the Iron Head's just still gonna kill this thing. So we're gonna go for that. Follow me, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Awesome. The Shadow Ball comes out here. Oh, maybe we should have Shadow Sneaked. Ah, leave me alone! Maybe we should have Shadow Sneaked. <laughs> Dang, I was so used to thinking Mimikyu's gonna just outspeed, and I totally forgot how fast Dragon Ball actually is. But Iron Head's gonna be able to pop out here. Oh, we get Primarina out here, so Primarina's gonna do some work. Um, do I have Protect on the Primarina? That's a real question. That's a real question. Hey, imagine if I would've sh No, we would've went down anyway if I would've Shadow Sneak. I would've had to protect that turn. I would've had to protect that turn. But I maybe should've thought about a little bit. Protecting, taking that focus out, and roll from there. He's gonna send out Gengar, who is going to be his final mod. This is his final mod. And I think uh, Hyper Voice definitely in this rain is going to take out that, what's it called? I got to double into Polt. I mean, unless Polt goes for Protect. I think we're just going to send out uh, double moves. i go for High Horsepower. I'm going to say maybe the Dragon Polt protects and maybe we take out. No, I think the Polt's going to Protect, to be honest with you. As we have a Fairy move out here. Or it might roll a T-Bolt. We'll see, we'll see. I'm hoping it protects. I'm hoping it protects. And I think we can eat up a T-Bolt just fine. But the Gengar's gonna outspeed me. High horsepower could do some work. Could do some work. It's gonna be real close. Are we gonna lose two times to a Gengar squad? These are these are some good battles. I'm actually glad I got these on record. This is a very good battle, a certain final one. Um, G-Max Gengar's popping. I don't think this match is over just yet. Just because he has the Dynamax. Like, Gengar is a glass cannon. I can do some mean, mean damage to it. Let's see what happens here. Show me Protect, maybe. Protect? Shadow Ball comes out. Um, I think we eat up with the Shadow Ball. We do not. Oh my god, he gets a crit. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not doing it. I can't do it. I can't deal with this. Are you serious? Are you serious? This thing gets a crit. We should still be alive. Take out the Polsky here. Have a 2v1 situation against this thing. Bruh. Bruh. Yo, high horsepower probably would have won us that. Oh my lord. This thing got a crit and won him the game. Get out of my face, dude. Get off of me. Get off of me. This game's over now. Mmm. Bruh.
Bro, that's so whack. That is so whack. Dude really just got a crit. Is is one way out. Is one ticket out. Was a crit, and he does it, and he does it. Yo, GG to that guy. We got one and two. Very good battles all across the board. Battle number one was good. Battle two was good. This one was very, very good. A lot of swap in, swap outs, but we ended up losing because of a stupid crit. Me, 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 me. Awesome team right here. You guys know me. I love to use off meta team. So this one was definitely fun to use, especially with that surf fetch and everything built around it, like this sap sipper Gudra with the citrus berry and the prima arena to roll alongside with it. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.